Oh no. Guess what I did. Anything that happens in the closet stays in the closet. We're flea market flipping the master bedroom closet. It's starting to look like something, Kathy. Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and my husband Rich and I have been working really hard the past few months to get our underground dome home buried and ready for winter. But before that, while the retaining walls were being constructed over the summer, we were able to finish another room indoors, our custom built walk-in closet. So now that the bathroom is done, it's time to work on the master bedroom closet. It's amazing how far over budget we already are in this whole build. So we're being as creative as we can to finish the interior while being as frugal as possible. So grab a snack and get comfy because today we're going to take you through the closet build from start to finish and prove to you that with a little creative thinking and a lot of courage, a beautiful custom closet is possible on a tight budget. Yeah, that's a tough spot. Got a little gap here. Oh, we'll fill that with spackle. Oh no. Guess what I did? Cut it upside down. This one's actually perfect. We don't need to insulate, we just yeah, want quiet. Framing was already there, but because the house is a dome, Rich had to add a little extra near the curved concrete wall. Three eighths inch plywood. Sheet rock. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna lift it up, put it over here. Use sheet rock on two of the walls. We're in. And on the last wall, we used some of the leftover birch plywood from when we did the bedroom. Like one there. I feel like the closet's closing in. Honey, we're gonna have a closet. Yeah, we'll get there. We bought these motion activated lights on Amazon and they're surprisingly kind of heavy duty. Let's see what happens. This work. Oh, why? Oh, it's motion sensor. Go ahead, go in. Right, so that's the first time you put power to it, right? Yeah. So, oh, there you go. I can't see. I know, you're blinded. Don't look at the light. Yeah. It's like that movie. And you I like it, though. It's not a terrible looking light. It's not disappointing. Well, I have no idea. I didn't read the directions. I, I'm learning from you. We don't read directions now. We don't read directions. <laughs> that's the name of our channel. We don't read directions. <laughs> It's nice and wire. bright in there. That's really, wow. Oh, honey, and you got all the tape on the wall? Yeah, for now. Spackle, to, uh, go. tape. Out of time. All right, we're ready. Master. This will come together fast. Yeah, it is, it's I can't some wait. custom built cabinetry and furniture that we're making in here out of old yep. repurposed stuff too, which is gonna be awesome. All old Cabinet furniture. Too. Flea market flip style. Kathy's gonna take you through that. All the priming is done. Ceiling is primed and painted. Next up is the wall. These little screws are the greatest things ever. There'll be a link in the description below where you can get some.
We're attempting to cover the beam, but we want to move it out so it covers that corner there and this covers what back here? Yeah, that. This hole. Yeah, that get, gets around all of that. So he's gonna cut a little notch out for that chunk of concrete. Is it a chunk or a clump? What you doing, Kathy? Staining. Is this a test to see if we're gonna like it everywhere else? Of course. cabinet or something made out of scraps coming our way. So that was a bookcase. This is three coats of that chalk paint. And I ordered General's Flat on Flat finishing top coat. So that should be here Monday and we'll get done. And this is a door that we're gonna use in the closet, in the cabinet. I got two of them, the only one's up there. All right, moment of truth. That's pretty close, I'll take that, I'll accept that.
I think it's good. Wow, honey, that's a lot of red tape. A lot of red tape. Carpet for Molly's. Better fit. Oh. Bye. So the rug was cheap. That piece right there you won't see because it'll be underneath the cabinet. But the rug is awesome. Let me just have this remnant sitting here for now. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. I moved it. I wish you could I stay, you could out, stay here. out there. We could. You know why? We could make like a little backstop like you do for the sink. A little piece. Wow. Looks good, honey. I'm going to try and join these two together and make a 16 inch bench top. It's starting to look like something, Kathy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I love red tape. That that's fantastic, this is, honey. It's just a little extra red tape till the glue dries here and here. Okay.
200 year old wood. Rich made me this little shelf and like little pocket cubby for that little jewelry thing he made me. It's gonna go in here. I gotta go and tack it. Decided to take the glass out so we could chisel out these openings for these hinges. Kathy picked up this stuff. It's called Insta Trim. Peel, press, perfect. It's like a rubberized molding. I'm just going to stick it on the wall. It actually looks pretty good.